Hey guys, welcome back. It's a Cardis, and in today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing a newer deck, but this is actually a prototype. So, by the way, this is not just a normal deck of cards. This is actually the medieval playing cards. Now, ignore the name on the, the deck on the side, there and there. It's not actually that. This is the silver edition and this is a prototype. Uh, and this is on Kickstarter right now, so I'll leave a link in the description for this deck. So basically, um, it's inspired by fearless knights, several lords and gorgeous queens, and it's a medieval and it's full of custom hand-drawn um, one-way courts in original old style of playing cards and it has the card stock and um, construction of a tuck case blah 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 uh, and it's men and evil is designed to basically is meant to go throughout this deck now obviously this is a prototype so I will not be doing a handling on this deck because it's a prototype but for the tuck case there is two additions to this deck there is a silver which is this one and then there is a gold which is kind of a limited edition so first off we have a knight right there with this nice paisley scroll work going through it's an absolutely beautiful design and then you have the knight that's been hand drawn even if you flip over it has the exact same design but then it has like kind of um, the it obviously has a different name because obviously it's changed now um, it has a beautiful design just going on there and you can see it continues the whole way around the tuck case with this intricated design and you can see it continues there as well and obviously that was the previous name before this is just a prototype so sometimes deck names of them change then we have the tops just there as well now this is a prototype and we have a just a flap there so the flap will be a little bit smaller when the deck is actually printed then we have the two symbols there and you can see how awesome this deck actually looks very unique just a really stunning deck but let's have a look at the back design it should make for an exquisite fan and you can see straight away it has the nice shield with the kind of eagles there uh, with the design kind of framework going around the outside really really pops kind of bluish grey tone to the cards with the black grey font colourway on the back this is a mirrored back meaning if you flip it around it's basically going to be the exact same well it's going to be the exact same let's move on to the jokers Okay, so with the first Joker, we can see it's a knight on a horse. Really, really great hand-drawn design. Looks absolutely stunning. This is a really, really intricate deck. Then you have the other one here as well, and you can see it's actually a bird or an eagle, or kind of like, it looks like something of Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> very, wow, very medieval. Cool, that looks that's really interesting. But let's move on to the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades, then obviously it will have Medieval on the front there, but obviously it has the old name. Then it has Created by Out from the World, and then you can see who designed it just there. And we have the nice design going around the outside featuring the same kind of alien Harry Potter birds there. <laughs> and then you can see it has the big Ace of Spades with the custom pips. Moving on to the rest of the spades. Okay, so with the rest of the pips, you can see they feature a faded design the whole way out of this deck with the custom pips. Now, this isn't a custom pit placement, it's just basically this. Oh, actually, it kind of is, but you kind of know where they're going to be now, because most decks now are all looking the same for the placements, because there's not really anywhere else you can put them. Um, and then you have them pips there, and they're kind of like a... Um, looks like a bird in the sky kind of shape, actually. But let's have a look at the royalty for the spades. Okay, so moving on with the Spade Royalty. We can see we have the Jack who's just having a quick glass of wine. We have the Queen with a rose and then the King with a sword. Now you can see these have got the beautiful framework going around the outside. The nice kind of pit placement there with the kind of frame going around which really makes it pop. And then the colouring as well and the kind of hand drawn illustrations are absolutely stunning. Now obviously the Royalty does change throughout. So if you get for example the Hearts the royalty does change throughout, so you're not stuck with the same royalty. So all the royalty do actually change throughout the deck. So even moving, I'll show you here again, this is for the clubs. 
you can see the royalty actually change. Now the queen is there and then there is the king and you can see it continues with a new style. We've only got one royalty left to show and then we can see it's the diamonds and all these are hand drawn and they look exquisite, they look stunning and they look unique and I love these because I don't know, I just like the medieval style, I don't really know. But let's have a look at the actual pips for the deck. Okay, so moving on with the rest of the pips. Now, first off, we have the hearts. You can see it continues with the burgundy kind of color red they've got with this um, kind of reshaped, smooth looking hearts. And you can see it continues the whole way through with the hearts. Then you get the big custom ace of hearts. Now, you get four custom aces with this deck, which is actually unique and different. You can see it has the kind of old vintage kind of um, picture frame going around with the shield with a heart on it there. So, very unique. Move on to the clubs, we can see these actually are very unique in the way they look, they just look awesome. Uh, very different and I just, yeah, they just, I don't know, they don't look like clubs that much to me, but they are, if that makes sense, because I know they are. Then we have the same idea with the shield, with the club just on the shield there. Then we have the diamonds as well, you can see it goes the whole way through with the exact same, these are a bit more chunkier and for some reason we've just delved into one heart. And then we have the Ace of Diamonds. Now let's give an overall on this deck. All right, so overall this deck is pretty good, but obviously this is the silver edition. It is a prototype, so I can't actually give 100% on what I think about this deck. It's a great looking deck for a prototype. Obviously it's a prototype, so I can't do the handling, but when this deck is already funded anyway, so I'll leave a Kickstarter link for this in the description and you guys can go check it out just because I think if you get one of these, obviously when I, I'll get one sent to me anyway to review, but if you guys get the hands on them now, they are limited on Kickstarter, they've only got a few more days left, I think a week left, so make sure you pick these up, obviously a week from when you're watching this video. But that is my review, I think this deck is worth actually getting, it's quite an interesting, it's got a new design, it's like hand drawn, it's what you want, it's different to all other decks. But that was my review today guys, if you guys enjoyed it then give the video a big old like, comment down below what you thought of this deck and make sure you check out my previous videos to Q&A, so comment on that and let me know what you guys want to basically just ask me. That's it, click subscribe, previous video, comment down below with your thoughts, so just give it a little type, and that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one. Disclaimer, I did say in my q and I'll be reviewing the Presidency deck, but obviously I realised this was running out on Kickstarter, so I had to review this. That's why I reviewed this.